Hey everybody, this is Tom once again for another edition of In Between Appointments. My name is Tom from Lonnie Kai Photography. And um, in this edition, I just want to do something real quick to explain new photographers. And when I say new, I mean like new, new. Like you ain't even chose a camera yet. You just getting into the field. This one's for y'all, so pay attention. So, once again, you all know I love YouTube University, but YouTube University's got its BS too, all right? And for those of y'all who don't know what I mean by YouTube University, it just means that you can learn anything off of YouTube, okay? And honestly, YouTube is a great resource for photographers that's trying to learn how to get into this business, that's trying to learn how to become better photographers. It's great. It's a great resource. You just got to really eat the fish and spit out the bones because there's a lot of bones in YouTube University. So, this one's for you all. When trying to make a decision between what is the difference between a DSLR and a mirrorless system and which one should you buy? This has been the dumbest debate I have ever heard in my life in YouTube University. You have photographers trying to depict mirrorless systems as a new, innovative, completely different system than a DSLR. You even have one photographer who once said at one of his conferences, and I honestly haven't been back on YouTube to see if he's taking it down or not. If he hasn't, he needs to. You know who you are, dude. Take it down. Because it's a lie. In one of his uh, little conferences, he said that if you do not switch to a mirrorless system, it is the same thing as when film photographers didn't want to switch over to digital and you will be out of business. Bull. That's crap. But you new photographers that's been hearing about mirrorless and less about DSLRs, you want to know what the God's honest truth is between the two systems. This is it. You ready? A DSLR has a mirror for an optical viewfinder. A mirrorless doesn't have a mirror for the viewfinder. It just uses the sensor. So you want to know what the difference is? There is no difference. If you turn, if you have a DSLR and you turn on a live view, you are using a mirrorless system. It's just that simple. They want to sit up here and talk about all the hype about, oh, but you can see your exposure live now. You can see your exposure live on a DSLR. Just, man, that's a big truck. <laughs> Just turn on your live view and change your camera settings. And you will see it live. That's the only difference. In a DSLR, it uses a mirror for your optical viewfinder. So you're seeing the live image optically. I don't know a better way to say it. Versus in a mirrorless, the sensor itself is projecting a digital image to the viewfinder that's it that's all that's it so it doesn't really matter which one you buy okay trust me if you all heard this photographer's thing about if you don't get a mirrorless system you're going to be out of business no you're not you want to know what the difference is between film and digital film and digital use two different delivery systems for your clients Back in film, you shot a wedding in film, the client had to come in, you have a little a book out with basically some little thumbnails of the images, and they would have to choose which images they wanted to choose, and then they would pay per image and make the book. It, it was complicated. And now it's just a new era of put it on a flash drive and send it to your client. Also, film used dark room. Digital uses Lightroom. That's why he called it Lightroom. Guess what mirrorless use? Lightroom. Film use film. DSLRs use SD cards and CF cards and XQD cards. Mirrorless uses CF cards, XQD cards, you know, SD cards. It's the same thing. You are not going to go out of business. You can choose either system and be very successful in it. Don't believe that crap. Don't let these people, especially Sony. Sony d does hell of a marketing. They've got a slew of photographers all trying to push Sony systems 
Sony mirrorless systems, and they're great at it. Just don't believe it. It's hype. I still use DSLRs. I'm still in business. I'm going to be in business. I'm getting older, so eventually I will choose a mirrorless system because it's getting harder and harder for me to deal with the weight. And that's the only thing that you need to decide on. Do you want to go mirrorless so that you can have a smaller, lighter, more portable system or DSLR? You know, and you might say, well, why wouldn't I want a smaller, lighter? If you're like me, I have long fingers. Mirrorless systems do not work with my with my fingers because there's no mirror in them. The body is very skinny and it just doesn't it. The ergonomics just don't work for me. I like the bulkiness of a DSLR, even though it's heavier because it just fits in my hand better. And when you're shooting a wedding it keep this in mind for you wedding for one people, uh, people that want to go into weddings. When you're shooting a wedding and you got this camera in your hand for 10, 11, 12 hours, Comfort in the hand is the most important part of this business. Your hand needs to be comfortable, okay? So, that's what the only thing that you need to choose. Weight versus comfort. Now, if your hand is comfortable around a mirrorless, okay. If you don't mind spending about three grand for a mirrorless, when you could get a used DSLR for like a thousand, okay. Me, I'm going to be with, I'm not switching systems right now. I'm just not. There's no point in it. DSLRs suit me just fine. I like them. I like the weight of it right now. I like the bulkiness of it. It fits better right now. It's cool. So those are things that you need to really focus on is go to a camera store. Go to Best Buy, whatever. Don't order it online right away. And just pick up a mirrorless. See how it feels. Pick up a DSLR see how it feels the advantages are up to you um, the one advantage that DSLRs really do have over mirrorless right now is price because like I said you can you you can get a used DSLR because mirrorless is popular really really cheap um, well <laughs> cheap is relative and I'm sorry about that um, what I mean is you look at like when a Nikon D4 came out. Nikon D4, when it first came on the scene, it was a $6,000 camera. You could get a used one right now for about $1,200. So, and a D4 is the most power the average photographer will ever need in his life. That's what I shoot with right now. I don't need a D4S. I definitely don't need a D5. It's just super fast, super powerful. The ISO range is incredible. The autofocusing is incredible. I just don't need anything better than a D4. It's just, it's great. So you all could get a camera that matches that for like $1,200 instead of $6,000. Hey, there you go. But it's up to you. Those are the reasons why I choose a DSLRs. I like the weight for right now. I like the bulkiness in my hand. There is no difference between mirrorless and DSLRs. You know, they're going to talk about being able to see your exposure. Okay, it's true. You can't, without using a live view, view, you can't see your exposure through your viewfinder. But we didn't always have to. I don't know when these photographers got so lazy and forgot their roots. And, because there was and still is this little needle in optical viewfinders. That if it went to the right, you knew you were overexposed. If it went to the left, you knew that you were underexposed. And you just dealt with it. You know, they want to rave about eye autofocus. I've been using eye autofocus forever. You know what it is? Put your focus point over the eye. It's just, it's lazy. It, and listen, I like bells and whistles too. Anything that can make your job easier, that's, that's more than fine. But these photographers are acting like they just can't live without this stuff. You've been living without it forever. I listened to one, you know, when Nikon came out with their mirrorless. He was livid because it only came with one memory card slide. And it's like, oh my God, how could you ever put one memory card slide? The dual memory card slide is not that old, bro. It's not. You know what we did? We carried extra memory cards. You know what we did? We didn't have, you know... 250 gigs on one card 
we carry a lot of smaller cars and we would change them out regularly in case one got corrupted. It's just New what we did. From Jess Noel. Sorry Press about that, y'all. Phone you know, and say text message that's, read it. that's actually, you know, one of the people that I work underneath, you know. So, oh, my appointment is ready. So, I guess I got to kind of cut this short. But, um, yeah, listen. There's no difference between mirrorless and mirrored, okay? You can choose either one. It's completely up to you. They both work great. They're all really, really great cameras. They can all do the job. It's just up to you of what your budget is. It's up to you of what your comfort is in the hand, how you can deal with the weight and things like that. It's completely up to you, but don't let anybody tell you that you must go to mirrorless, that DSLRs are over with. They're not over with. Even if they were over with, you can still use them. Even because your client, there's no difference. It's not like your client is going to look at their photo and be like, wait a minute. Hold on, let me look. Wait. You use a DSLR on this. It, it, I know. That sounds stupid, but that's what they're trying to make you believe is going to happen. And it's not. It's the same system. One camera has a mirror in it for the viewfinder. The other camera has a has an open sensor for the viewfinder. And those are the only big deals. Those are the only things that's different. Don't believe that crap. Get you what works for you. They both work for you. They're great. Alright. Let me go hit this appointment up. I'll be back with y'all on another edition. This is Tom from Lonnie Kai Photography. See you soon.